Oh, what a wonderful dream. Oh, hello, everybody. Viewers, how are you doing? I hope you all are doing great. Huh? Okay, wait a second. What time is it? Oh my God, I have to go to school. Mikey's probably waiting outside my door by now. I need my backpack. Where is it? Maybe it's here? No. Oh, could it be here? Yeah, there it is, my backpack. JJ? Uh, JJ, where are you? Oh, it's Mikey. If you don't come out now, I'll leave without you. Oh, no, Mikey, I'm on my way. Don't leave for school without me. Hey. How am I supposed to justify myself to him now? JJ, you're finally out. We're late for school, by the way. I had a sweet dream, Mikey. What took you so long to come out? It took me a long time to figure out where my backpack was. Stop wasting time. Let's go to school. Blah, blah, blah. JJ, that's funny. Yeah! But if you get hit over the head with a ruler for being late, I'm not going to defend you. Mikey, since when did you become such a diligent student? I've always been like this. I don't understand you at all sometimes, Mikey. What don't you understand now? I don't understand why a genius like you would go to school. Well, my mom tells me I have to go to school. It's not my idea. Huh? You could be doing more useful things than that. JJ, stop your stupid jokes. Hmm. Better yet, look over there. Oh my God, that's a like and subscribe. Viewers, if you like our videos. What needs to be done? Please like and subscribe to our channel. All right. Second glory's over. Let's get to class. Oh, yes, you're right. Let's go. Okay, JJ, here's the plan. Hmm. There was a shark chasing us, so we're too late. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Oh, lucky for us, the teacher's not here yet. Then we must seize the chance. Sit down at our desk. Oh, JJ, there's something I don't like. Something's wrong. Yeah, because math today, it's terrible. No, that's not what I meant. Hey, kids, I have two pieces of news for you today. Huh, what? The first news is that you will now have a new classmate. <gasps> oh, my God. I hope you all make friends with her. The teacher said the new classmate is a girl. I hope she will be beautiful. I'm bringing her here now. <laughs> hey, TV girl, come on in. Don't be shy. TV teacher, I'm going in. Oh. So her name is TV girl. Please be nice to her. Oh my God. She's from the neighboring town and she's the same age as all of you. So you'll all make friends. Mikey, she is just incredible. Such a cutie. Um, I can sit in any seat in class, right? Yeah, yeah. You can sit in any seat you want. Even my seat. Hey, everybody. JJ, she looked at me. You saw it. Nope, Mikey. She was only looking at me. Oh, Oh, you don't know where to sit? Yes. There's a seat at this desk. Get in here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Come sit next to us. You boys don't hurt our new student. We know. You don't have to yell. I have a good view of the whole class from this spot. Yes, there are some great views from my place here, too. JJ, what are you talking about? And now it's time for the second piece of news. Oh, that's right. The teacher said she had two pieces of news. I hope the second news is as awesome as the first. Yeah, I hope so, too. Mikey, she's definitely mine. Stop. What? So we're going to have a math quiz now on yesterday's topic. Um, Mikey. I didn't do anything yesterday, did you? Me too. We're screwed. Three hours later. And the test was much easier than I thought it would be. Oh, that's right. I thought the teacher was going to give us some difficult assignments on the test. All those tasks on the test were easy peasy, huh? Yeah, Mikey. And I'm surprised you handled it all so easily, by the way. Why, what do you mean? Well, usually you just play games on your PlayStation and you don't care about <gasps> studying. What? Hmm, first day of school didn't go as bad as I thought it would. Oh, it's our new girl. Oh, there's such great goodies in these vending machines. So, Mikey, I've decided I really want to be friends with her her, don't you? Me too. Cool. I'll remember that. Okay, let's go up to her now and say something cool. Oh yeah, give that second of fame to me. Uh, Mikey, I don't think you're gonna make it. Hey, TV girl, wait. What? Mikey, let me tell her. We're the coolest kids in this school, aren't we, Mikey? Did you know that turtle pantsers can glow at night? Yeah, uh, what? I'll be your light at night. Oh my gosh, basically, we want you to be friends with us. Uh, guys, I don't know what you want from me, but it's nice to meet you. Oh, it's so nice to meet you, too. Yeah, I'm turning green with happiness. I'm sorry, uh, but I have to go home now. Wait, but we just met. We can walk you out. Bye-bye. Mikey, you're scaring her. What weirdos these boys are. I'd better go home soon. Oh, no. But I did say a cool fact about turtles. Well, now we can't see her until tomorrow. Nah, JJ, let's follow her. Huh, what? We'll find out where she lives and take her for a walk with us. Mikey, it certainly sounds like a plan, but I think it's terrible. We're like stalkers. It's nothing to be proud of. Of Mikey. Oh, JJ, this is bad. I don't know where we are anymore. There you go. And I knew this was a bad idea. Well, good news we caught up with her. Oh, really? Yeah, and you doubted me. Not at all, Mikey. I never doubt you. I wonder when we'll get to her house. Honestly, my feet are already hurting. I can't wait until we get to her house. Mom, Dad, I'm coming. Wow, JJ. You could say we're already meeting her parents. Mikey, and you are starting to think along the right lines, respect. Wow, what a beautiful house. 
Oh, so she lives here. So I'm home. What to do now? I'll get my house in order, and then I can do my homework. Uh, Mikey, she's kind of got things to do. So what? We'll take her for a walk anyway. But Mikey! Well... She must be very tired. What if we've been coming all this way for nothing? We didn't do it for nothing. We found out where she lives. No, JJ. I'm gonna get her to come out with us at all costs, okay? Mikey, she's stronger than you. Well, we'll see about that. Oh, no. Hey, TV girl, we're here to visit you or walk with you. Mikey, stop talking nonsense. Anyway, come on out. We're waiting. I did everything I could. You've done enough. That was just awful, Mikey. What's going on here? Oh. Oh, no, it's you again. What do you two want from me? Sorry about that fool, TV girl. We meant you no harm. Uh, I don't know. We just like you, and we'd like to go for a walk with you. What do you say? Do you both like me? Yeah, we really, really like you. Oh my god, you guys are so dumb, I have no words. Hey, he's dumb, but I'm not dumb. Hey! I don't like dumb guys. I only like smart guys. Well... And you don't know at all what tact and first acquaintance is, you stupid. I didn't want to go, I just followed him. You both followed me, it's disgusting. Don't ever come here again. Wow, that was awesome! Mikey, that's not cool at all. She called us stupid. Okay, you're really dumb, but I'm not. JJ, I don't want to hear about stupidity from someone like you. Huh, what? You couldn't make friends with her, see? So you're stupid too, huh? Yeah, yeah, let's go home. Right, it's time to go. And we'll look at the test results and see who's stupid. The next day. What is this? Uh, I don't understand. I didn't write that. I don't believe I have an E grade. It's not true. I'm not stupid. It can't be. Guys, put a like if you think I'm not dumb. Well, I don't believe it, but it's really awful. What grade did Mikey get then? Hey, there's Mikey. Mikey, what grade did you get on the test? I got exactly what I deserved, JJ. I was given a grade of E. I feel like this is some kind of mistake. Well, is that an A with an plus? Wow, JJ. I didn't realize you were so dumb. It was a simple test. It was an easy test, I know. But why is your grade higher than mine? Probably because I'm smarter than you. Don't be ridiculous, Mikey. I've always been better than you. Wow, that's news. Yeah, that's right. Uh, hello? So, how did you boys do on yesterday's test? Prove to me that you're not stupid. Well, uh... JJ failed the test, and I got a perfect score, so he's dumb, huh? Wow, did you really get the top grade? He's got an A with a plus. Wow, you're so smart. And I love smart boys. Hee hee hee. But he's not smart. He's dumb. What grade did you get? I got a grade of E, but I think it's a mistake. I've never gotten such bad grades before. Oh, you should admit you're dumb. Uh... I don't like boys who pretend to be smart. But I'm not lying. That's it. Don't talk to us. You're too stupid to keep a dialogue going. Mikey! Get out of here, you stupid JJ. But it's not true. Believe me. I want to cry, but I'm too angry. Oh, yeah. Let's go for a walk. Why is he in my place? With you, my smarty pants. Uh, what's your name? My name is Mikey. Oh, my clever Mikey. I'll go to the ends of the earth with you. Mikey gets all the attention that should have gone to me. How come? I'm happy to hear that. I have to ask him how he got the top grade. What's all the commotion going on in here? Oh, JJ, what's up? I got an E. Oh, JJ, how could you? I didn't expect this from you. But Mikey got an A plus for some reason. Wow. Are you sure you didn't get anything mixed up? What was I supposed to mix up, JJ? Well, he's stupid. He couldn't have gotten that grade. I immediately fell in love with you as soon as I saw you. You see? Well, JJ, you're having a girl too. Don't give up hope and don't blame your losses on Mikey. But I, uh, but I don't blame him. I just wanted justice. Hey, I'd chat with you some more. My smarty pants, Mikey. Oh my god. But I have to go home now. It's okay. I can meet you on my way to school tomorrow, okay? Yes, I'd be only too happy to have your company. What about me? In that case, I'll see you tomorrow. Yay, yay. I'm so glad you're friends with me, my clever Mikey. This is just us being friends for now. It'll get more serious from here. Hee hee hee. Mikey, tell me how you got such a high grade. I'm very interested to know your secret. JJ, it doesn't matter. It's very important to me. Tell me, please. Is that really what you want to know? Yes. Oh, hmm. Huh. Good thing there's no one in the school at night. Although security would be good here. For now, this is the perfect chance to sneak into our classroom. I'm gonna make a TV girl fall in love with me. Oh, I knew JJ would get the top score again, but I'm not giving him the win this time. If you love life, you've got to be sneaky, huh? JJ, I'm sorry, but I have to win. Now it's definitely time to get out of here. Uh, Mikey? Mikey, you never answered me. How did you get the top grade like that? Well, JJ, you know, I just studied the topic that the test was on all night. No way! That's why I got an A. But you said you didn't learn anything. I'm going to see my new friend, TV Girl. Mikey! And you're gonna be jealous. 
Bye bye. Who's gonna be jealous of who? Viewers, do you think I could really get such a bad grade? Write your opinion in the comments below this video. Uh, JJ, why are you still here? Oh, TV teacher, I just can't get over my first bad grade. And Mikey says he studied all night so he got a good grade. But I can feel it's not true. JJ, what a sweet boy you are. Calm down. There's a first time for everything. Yeah, I realize that, but uh... So what if you got a bad grade this time? We'll have more tests on different topics. Get a good grade there. Oh my god, I don't want any more bad grades. It's not a problem. This teacher doesn't understand my whole situation. So what do I have so far? Well, now I'm all alone. I couldn't win over the girl I liked. I literally had her taken away from me. I got dumped by my best friend. And my teacher didn't believe me, even though I tried to study hard. I don't know if this is the kind of justice I deserve. I'll go home and study. I'm not done yet. Everyone needs to learn and strive for the truth. That's what I'm going to do. Detective JJ, let's go. Ten hours later. I'm getting up. I hear that alarm clock. I'm going to go say hi to my parents and eat before school. Let's go. My parents are already awake, but what are they doing there I can't figure out? Are they just sitting around watching TV this early in the morning? It's weird. It's so cool to watch the cartoons you watched as a kid. It's very funny, isn't it? I've got tears in my eyes from laughing. I can't stop. This is my favorite cartoon of my childhood. Okay, my parents just remembered their childhood cartoon. I'll leave them alone and go eat. I'll see what we have in the fridge. Uh, it's completely empty, so what am I supposed to eat? Mom, Daddy, there's no food in the fridge and I'm very hungry. What am I gonna do? Ha ha ha, look how funny he fell. Oh, Mikey, sorry. We were staring. Your dad and I have absolutely no money, and so there's no food in the house. It's true. There's no money at all, so we can't eat. So go to school, Mikey, and eat there. You'll have to be patient for a while and live without food at home. All true, but we'll be sure to capitalize and buy everything soon. All right, I hear you. Then I'll go to school hungry, since I have no money or food at home. Although I'm really tired of living like this already and only eating once at school. But I guess I don't really have a choice, so I'm just going to school. Pooh, is it morning already? It is. It's time to wake up and go to school. Hey guys, it's my usual morning. I always wake up in a good mood. I live in a beautiful big house where I have everything I need. Gotta go down to my parents to tell them I'm awake and ready to go to school. Especially since today is my first day at a new school. Good morning, everyone. I'm up and ready to learn. Oh, JJ, hey, I was just about to go wake you up. It's okay. I woke up on my own and without an alarm clock. Well done, son. You are already becoming an adult and independent. It's true. Give him some money so he can buy himself something for school. Of course. Here you go, JJ. It's for petty cash. Wow, thank you so much. You are the best. That's it. You can go to school now. To be more precise, go with your own private driver. Yes, that's right. He's already waiting for you outside the house. You're not kidding, are you? See for yourself. Your new car is there, but until you have a license, you'll be driven by a driver. Thank you so much. I'm very much overjoyed. Just run, JJ. I'll see you later. God, my parents are so great. I'm so very happy that I'm so lucky to be their son. Now I'm going to drive my car to school with my driver. Hey, JJ, did your parents tell you who I am yet? Yes, of course. You're my personal driver until I get my license. That's right. Nice to meet you. You can get in and we'll go to school. Nice to meet you, too. Okay, I'll sit down. We'll go a little fast so you won't be late on your first day of school. No problem. I like to go fast. All right, JJ, I'm going to start up and we're going to go. Do you want to put on some music? No, don't worry. We'll get there in peace and quiet. Good. You're quite bright and well-spoken for your age. Thank you so much. It's a credit to my parents. They make sure I grow up smart. That's it, JJ. We've arrived at your new school. I'll pick you up after class is over. Okay, I got it. Wow, this must be some very prestigious school. I really like the way it looks. I think I'll definitely make new friends here, and I'm excited to learn. Thank you so much for driving me. I'll meet you after my class. You're welcome, JJ. Study hard. I understand. I need to prove myself on the first day so everyone realizes I'm a smart guy. My parents found me a great driver, a very nice and well-mannered man. That's it. Now I have to go into the school and meet at least someone. So here I am at school. 
I'm glad I have a bicycle. Wow, this guy gets to school on a bike. And I don't even know how to ride on it. I'm finally here. I'm tired of pedaling. Now I can leave my bike and go to school already. Especially since I am still very hungry. What a funny guy. Oh, hey, who are you? I've never seen you before. Hi, I'm JJ. I'm new, and today is my first day at this school. Cool, my name's Mikey. I've been a student here for a long time, and we can be friends. Yeah, great. That's a cool bike you have. You <laughs> rode pretty fast to get here. Did you really like him? That's cool. Thank you very much. You can try riding it. Oh, really? But I've never ridden a bike, and I don't know how to do it. Don't worry. There's nothing complicated here. You just need to try, and it will work out. Oh, well, thank you so much. I'd love to give it a try. Get on. Just hang on to the wheel and pedal, and it will work. OK, now I'm going to do everything you asked me to do. Hurry up. We have to go to class soon. Wow. I think I'm doing it. Look, Mikey, I'm riding. You're doing well, JJ. You already look like you've been riding a bike all your life. This is so much fun. I never thought just riding a bike was so cool. I'm glad you like it. How do you brake on it? What do I do to get off the bike? Your brakes are on the handle. Just press them. I can't do it. Oh my god, JJ's lying completely unconscious. I gotta go get help. Stay alive, a medic is coming to save you. Three hours later. Wake up, JJ, wake up. Oh my god, what's wrong with me? Where am I? You're at school in the nurse's office. You hit the wall hard. Your new friend Mikey brought you here. You should be grateful to him. Yes, Mikey, thank you. Nothing is threatening your life, JJ, so you can go to class. Okay, I got it, thank you. Too bad my bike broke down. No, come on. You don't have to worry, Mikey. I'll pay for your new bike. No, JJ, you don't have to. It's not a problem. I broke it myself. You better look at our nurse. She's got a nice figure. I don't care about her, Mikey. Here's some diamonds for you to buy yourself a cool new bike. I'm not comfortable taking diamonds, JJ, especially so many. Don't worry, Mikey. Please take it. It's no problem for me, really. I have never held so many diamonds in my life. Thank you so much for that. You're welcome. Wow, are you so rich? Gave Mikey so many diamonds, even though the bike is worth less. Don't you feel sorry for so many diamonds? No, Mikey's my friend, and I broke his bike. That's why I gave him the diamonds. Anyway, you gave him diamonds for four bikes. You must have a lot of stuff if you're so rich. Well, yes, I have a house, a car, lots of other things. How awesome is that? What are you doing tonight? Oh, sorry, that's the bell for class. We gotta go with Mikey already. Or the teacher's gonna get mad at us. Sure, guys, go ahead. I won't keep you. Okay, thank you so much. We won't distract you either. She's really hitting on you, JJ. She's nice and pretty. That's true, Mikey, but she started hitting on me after she saw me give you the diamonds. Right. I totally forgot about that. But she's still got a great figure. I don't need girls who talk to me for diamonds. Okay, JJ. It's time for us to get to class, or we're really gonna get yelled at. Yes, I agree. Enough of this nurse discussion. Time to get to class. Class. Will you show me where the classroom is? Of course, JJ. We're going in together. I'll give you a little tour of the school. Yeah, that would be great. This is where our dining room is. The food here is not very good, but I like it very much. I always eat at school. Nice place. I think we'll have to try the food here. Absolutely, JJ. We'll go there sometime. Nice school you got here. What's this place? Which one? Ah, there's an important message here for all viewers. Right. I see it, Mikey. I hope our viewers saw it too and won't spare a like and subscribe for us. Let's go to our classroom. I think everyone in the audience has already done what it says on the board. Here's our classroom. You can come in. Wonderful. It's quite large and beautiful. Beautiful. Where are you sitting? Right here. You can sit next to me. Thank you so much. I guess the teacher hasn't shown up for class yet? Yeah, get used to it. She's late quite often. But I think that's a plus for us. Well, actually, you're right. You can be late for not too long. Hey, guys. Sorry I'm a little late. But I'm here, and now we're going to start the lesson. Listen carefully and don't get distracted. Pretty kind your teacher seems to be. She is, actually. I see everyone came to my class and no one was missing. Who's that sitting here? Hello, I am new to your class. Now I will study with you. Great, especially since I've heard about you. Wow, the teacher has a nice figure too, actually. Pretty cute. It's true. Oh, I think it's for you. You've got lots of diamonds. A house and a car of your own, haven't you? Well, yes, I really have it all. That's great. We could use a boy like that on our collective. I'm very glad you came to us. Yes, thanks. I'm glad to hear that. Maybe it's time we started the lesson. It's been too long since the lesson started. Yes, that's right. We need to start researching a new topic. Sit up and listen carefully, because we'll be writing a test soon. Okay, no problem. We'll talk to you later, JJ. Okay, no problem, but let's just learn. Otherwise, we won't understand anything, and the whole class will do very poorly on the test. Everyone, stay tuned and listen up. Today's new topic is multiplication of prime numbers. 
this. You need to understand right away. Thank you, Mikey. We'll finally get to learn at least a little bit. You're welcome, but the topic is easy enough. It's true. Tomorrow will be a very easy to write test for you and me. Moments later. Finally, class is over and we can go home. It's true. I'm getting a little tired of today. We'll have to study even better today for tomorrow's test. I think we can write to a better mark without it. Hey, JJ, don't go. I need to talk to you. Would you mind sticking around for just a few minutes? Uh, yeah, no problem. What do you want? Can you just please, Mikey, step back and let us talk? I want to talk to JJ alone. How long is this going to take? We're in a hurry to get home. Don't worry, it won't be long. Well, if that's the case, I'll wait for JJ by the stairs. That's great. Now I want to suggest that you go out tonight. You are very attractive and rich. I would love to spend time with you. I already have plans today, unfortunately. I've arranged to go out with Mikey. He's my new friend. Hey, JJ, please wait. I need to talk to you. Oh, no, there's a nurse here, too. I don't get it. What does she want from you, JJ? Have you thought about my suggestion that we spend tonight together? Uh, I can't make it. I'm busy today. And what kind of plans do you have that you can't cancel to be with me? I actually asked JJ to hang out with me today. And today he's already busy and will be walking with me. But I'm actually gonna go home with Mikey tonight and rest. I asked JJ to hang out when he hadn't seen you yet. That's why he didn't know he was losing me over it. But I wasn't going to spend time with anyone one except Mikey. No, he's coming with me tonight. No, with me. No, with me. No, with me. Please calm down. I'm not going anywhere with anyone. I'll rip your hair out. You can't. I'll rip your hands off. Stop! Jesus, they just beat each other up and now they're lying unconscious. I never thought people would go to such lengths for a boy's diamonds. That's not the worst of it, Mikey. People will do worse for diamonds. Yeah, it's a good thing I'll never be like the nurse and the teacher. Because to me, they look more like animals than people. Okay, ignore them, especially since my driver's already here. You're a lucky man, JJ. Hey, do you want to go for a car ride with me and my driver? Oh, really? Can I? Of course. I think you'll be very interested since you've never driven one of these. It's true. Especially your car looks really cool. It's really awesome. Then we'll sit down now and I'll ask the driver to take us for a quick ride. It'll be a lot of fun. Let's sit down then, because I can't wait to feel it. Meanwhile, Mikey and I are currently heading to school and discussing all about everything. Yeah, guys, hello. We have a school day today, unfortunately. We should go soon, JJ, if you don't want to be late. I don't want to be late, but I don't really want to go there either, to be honest. I know what you're saying, but we'll get scolded if we start skipping again. I understand, which is why I don't even suggest turning around and going home. Come on, let's sit through these classes and go home to have fun. Maybe today will be a particularly fun day at school. I highly doubt it, because the same thing happens here every time. But okay, I've had enough of being a whiner. Exactly. Be more optimistic. We'll be very educated if we come here. All right, Mikey. Enough of standing around talking. It's time to go inside. I agree, JJ. Or we could really just turn around and go home. So let's hurry up and get to class and sit down. There's no point in hurrying too much. I'm sure the teacher herself is late as usual. We're not in a big hurry either. We stop every five seconds. For example, now look at what is written on the board. I mean, it's a message for our viewers. I think that's the assignment everyone who watched this should do. Just when we're about to test how closely they watch our videos. I'm sure our viewers are the best and will do the right thing. Now it's time for us to get into the classroom, Mikey. Learning doesn't wait. Totally agree. Let's get in and sit down. Did the teacher come? I don't see her, JJ. As usual, she's late. I'm not even surprised by that. But if we're late, she always cusses. That's true, but let's not be mad about it. The important thing is that we're not late. That's true, but it really baffles me that she's always late. Write in the comments, guys, if your teacher is late for class. I'm sure a lot of people will write about it. 100% I want wonder exactly how many people. Sorry I'm late, guys. I'm glad you're all here now. But there is a logical explanation for this. I have some very good news for you. I guess she's about to give some kind of knowledge test again. First, there are no tests today. And second, you now have a new classmate. Hey, Baldy, get in here quick. Okay, I'm here. Hey, guys, I'm gonna study with you now. I hope you'll welcome me into your collective. Wow, Mikey, it's been a long time since we've had a new kid in class. He is a very smart and good boy, so I hope you can find some common ground with him. You can chat with him at recess, but for now, Baldy, you can sit at any available seat. I think we should meet him, Mikey. I also think he's an okay guy and we can be friends as a threesome. That would be just great. Come sit right here. You're the tallest anyway, so you'll be sitting in the back. Okay, I don't really care where I sit anyway, so I'll have no problem sitting in the back. Thank you. Great, then sit back and listen. You need to get up to speed on our process to keep up with the knowledge. The teacher cares so much, I'm shocked. It's okay. Thank you so much for thinking of me that way. I can handle it. It's already been so long since the lesson started. It's cool. Now we can start learning. I just hope everyone is ready to soak up the knowledge now, right? 
Absolutely. We're ready to go. Great, then we'll begin our lesson. We've already lost so much time because of Baldi. It's wonderful. All right, guys. Now we're going to start learning with you. Great idea to start learning. Although it's better to just sit back and have fun. Did you hear that, Mikey? He's just like us. I'm sure we can find common ground with him. No one is distracted and looking at the board. Now I will explain to you exactly how to start counting complex numbers. I'll show you the easiest way to make it easy for everyone. It's very easy. Exactly, and very boring. Where I ended up going through the numbers and how to count, fun for sure. Baldi is shocked by this himself. Funny to hear that. We'll sit back and watch it. We have no choice. Moments later. It's finally over and we can go home in peace. Mikey's just about getting ready. Hey, buddy, are we going home or not? Surely we'll go. There's no point in staying here longer than you're supposed to when you can go have some fun. Shall we go to my house together or just go for a walk? Of course to your house. I haven't been there in a long time and I don't feel like going out today. I totally agree with you. You can just sit at my place and play. That's what I'm saying. We'll play together. Then let's run to my house. Guys, wait, please. I heard you were leaving already. Would you like to get to know each other and socialize? Of course it's okay. My name is JJ and this is my friend Mikey. Nice to meet you. I think you already know my name is Baldy. Yes, of course. The teacher introduced you to the whole class. And Mikey and I have already noticed that you seem like a normal guy and we can be friends with you. Great, so why don't we get out of here and go socialize? Let's talk about something, for example. We certainly don't mind. Then let's go socialize in the hall in front of the stairs. Sure, it's a great place. Then let's stop here and socialize. Anyone have any ideas? I don't even know. We'll have to figure it out. You sit down, Baldy, and start saying something. I have something to tell you. That's great. Then tell us. We're listening to you. I like our teacher a lot, and I think I have a soft spot for her. I think I think she's very pretty. Mikey and I notice her beautiful figure too, but we're not in love with her. Yeah, she is. She's really cute. I'm glad I'm not the only one here. Hey, Mikey, JJ, you still here? I'd really like to have a little talk with you. What are you guys doing here? Mikey and I are bonding with our new classmate, Baldi. He's a really cool and fun guy. Totally agree with Mikey. I'd like to have a private chat. Could you, Baldi, step aside for a while? But why? How am I going to stop you from talking? It's weird how the teacher is so anti-Baldi. Please, Baldi, step back for a little while. Okay, I got it. I'll back off, no problem. That's great. Thank you so much for your insight. We'll spend some more time together, Baldi. Don't be sad. All right, JJ. Now that we are alone, I would just like to admit to you how awesome you are and that you are my favorite students. Wow, we didn't expect to hear that. I just can't hide my affection for such great guys. Thank you so much. It's nice to hear that. A bit of a surprise, though. Okay, I won't embarrass you anymore. Have a good day and cheer you guys up. Thank you so much. You have a good day, too. See you again, my favorites. I couldn't have expected this turn of events. I always thought she hated us. That's what I thought, too, JJ. All right, guys. Why did she come up to you? What were you talking about? No big deal. She just asked how I was doing and said we're studying tomorrow and that's it. It's true. She just walked up and that's it. It's weird. Why did she ask me to step aside then? Don't think about it. Come and play something with us at my place. An unexpected offer, but I can't refuse. Let's go quickly. That's great. The three of us always have more fun. Then let's not waste any time and go faster. Especially since Baldi has never been to my house before and doesn't know what's there. And at your place, JJ, we always have a lot of fun. Of course, it's not like sitting in school and being bored out of your mind. You've really intrigued me. I really want to be there soon. Then run faster. I don't live very far from here. That's cool too, because I don't like to walk a lot. Totally agree with Baldi. And me too. Three hours later. Come on, Mikey, you can beat him. Give it more power. I'm trying, JJ. It's really hard. But it's a really fun game, JJ. I'm totally into it. Mikey and I play it almost every day. We love it ourselves too. I understand you perfectly. I would play too if I had a game like this. Now I'll finish the game and you can sit down. Then you go next, Baldi. Okay, JJ. Thank you so much. We just have to wait. Wow, who's that coming to see you, JJ? I honestly don't know. I'm not expecting guests at all. Then let's see who it is together. Of course, if someone bad came, we could fight back. That's great. I love feeling confident. Open up, JJ, and we'll stand by and help you if you need it. That's correct. Especially since I studied self-defense and you have nothing to fear. That's great. All right, I'm opening it. Hi, JJ, and I'm here to visit you with a cake. Is Mikey at your house? Yeah, we're here to hang out and have fun together. Great. Great. Then I hope I'm not disturbing you with my fine company. Let's eat cake together. Wow, okay, that's fine with us. Especially since I haven't had cake in a long time. Oh, uh, what's Baldy doing here? I thought there were two of you. We called him to come visit us. He is now our new friend and spends time with us. Yeah, he's a great guy and a lot of fun to be with. Baldy, could you please go for a little walk? 
get some fresh air, for example. Why? I don't really want it. The three of us have been playing here the whole time. I understand, but I'm asking you to take him for a short walk. Okay, I got it. I'm out of here. But why can't he be here? Thank you, Baldy. Take a walk while we chat. Can I at least have a piece of cake for myself? No, it's for us. Well, guys, now there's no stopping us from spending time together and eating cake. Okay, but why did you have to kick Baldy out? He wants cake, too. I just don't want that boy to stop us from having fun. But he likes to have fun, too, and he's a great guy. Enough talk about him. Better get some spoons for the cake. Although I'd rather go and pick out the prettiest ones myself. Somehow she's very hard on him. Maybe they have a conflict? I don't know, JJ, but I think the teacher has a crush on you and me. It's weird, but we can't say no to our teacher, can we? Let's just go eat cake and not think about it. I agree. I love cake. Five minutes later. Eat the cake, guys. Don't be shy. I got it this big on purpose. Thank you so much. The cake really is delicious. It's true. I've never had such delicious cakes. I'm so glad you liked it so much. Let's just enjoy it. We have to eat it all. Do they just sit there and eat cake all the time? Yes, it is. The teacher chased me away and is enjoying cake with Mikey and JJ. But I don't understand why she had to kick me out. I wouldn't be in the way. But apparently they have fun in threes and I can never get love back from a teacher. Although I have a huge crush on her, I think she is the most beautiful girl on this planet. But I'm not spending time with her right now. Then I'll come up with a plan to show her my love. I know what I need to do for that. It's evening and she is 100% at home, which means I can go to her, give her these beautiful flowers and confess my feelings. I really hope she will be happy and we can be together for the rest of our lives. That's it, I'm gonna ring the doorbell and wait for her to come out. Who's that? Oh, Baldy, what are you doing here? And why did you come to me with flowers at this late hour? Did something happen to you? Yeah, something's definitely happened to me. I fell in love with you and I want such a beautiful and lovely girl to live the rest of her life with me. Baldi, what are you talking about? It's impossible. I can't be with you. I don't like you. Don't come to me again, and especially not with flowers. Oh my god, why is that? I've just been robbed of all emotion right now. She didn't just say no. She yelled at me with angry eyes. I'm very upset. Apparently that's why she spends time with Mikey and JJ and kicks me out all the time. I'm very angry now. The next day. We had a good time last night, didn't we? Hope all is well for you guys. The cake was delicious. Thank you again for such a gift. I really enjoyed the three of us last night, to be honest. I'm really excited, guys. I hope this isn't our last day together. I think we can definitely still have such a nice sit down. I really hope so. Don't be late for class, my darlings. Yeah, I love that she's treating us so well. I think I'm starting to like her. Yes, JJ, I agree. I'm really glad she feels that way about us. It would be cool if we started dating a teacher, especially one so beautiful. I'm already dreaming about it. Oh, hey guys, long time no see. Yeah, Baldy, hello. I have such great news for you, but I can't say it here. Let's go to the basement. Wow, what kind of news is that? We're very interested. Then let's go downstairs quickly so we don't waste our time. I have no idea what he wants to tell us, to be honest. So let's go find out soon, JJ. Come on, Baldy, tell us about it already. Someone might hear us here. Let's go even lower. This is news that only we should know. Oh, uh, what kind of weird news is that? I don't know, but let's go downstairs. So, Baldy, are you going to tell us your news now? Yeah, guys, I'm going to show you something. I'm starting to get a little tense about this whole thing. Now I'm going to show you what it means to beat back this beautiful teacher I've wanted to be with for so long. Now you'll be getting your faces kicked in. What? But we didn't do anything like that? She won't even look at me because of you. Don't. Please calm down. I beg you. Seven months later. Ooh, I slept so well tonight. Gotta get up to get ready for school. It's my usual morning today, so I'll be heading off to school soon. Oh no, the time is almost half past eight in the morning. I'm already late. Gotta get my backpack and run to school soon. I don't wanna be late. Oh my God, where would I put it? That's right, I remembered. I put it in this drawer right here. That's it, now I have to run. Oh my God, the doorbell scared me so bad. Apparently it's Mikey, and I think we're both late now. That's even better. The two of us coming at the wrong time isn't as scary as the one alone. Oh, JJ, finally, I thought you'd be off to school by now. No, I woke up later than usual. Then let's run quickly to school before we're too late. Yeah, Mikey, all true, but I'm glad you came in with me. It'll be less scary to be late. I'm still a little scared because I don't really like to get scolded about it. Then we can't wait, Mikey. Come on, let's go. Come on, JJ. Whoever's fastest is the coolest. All right. 
one, JJ. Well done, Mikey, but I wasn't really competing with you. Anyway, the important thing is that we got to school on time. I still think we're a little late, but we won't be penalized for it. Well, we're about to find out, but let's go in together. Of course, why do we have to go in separately? I don't know, let's go. Let's stop standing around. Yeah, you're a weird one, Mikey. I'm just confused. I'm not even a little surprised. I have a hard time just thinking in the morning. I can agree here. JJ, look what it says on the board. This is very important information for our viewers. It's true. Guys, be sure to put a like under the video and subscribe to the channel. It's very important for us. Let's go to class now. I think our viewers are all done. I hope so too, because if there are lots of likes, our videos will only get better. All right, let's get in. We're really late. Come on in. I'm right behind you. All right, JJ, get in before they see us. Everything's great, but it's very quiet in here. The teacher's not even here yet, Mikey, so you and I aren't even late. So we might not have been running so fast, but we were walking at a steady pace. Did you hear that? The teacher must be here. Hello, guys. Everyone knows me. I'm your principal, and I have news for you. Apparently, she's going to talk about the fundraiser again. You have a new teacher now. Behave yourselves. Yeah, guys. Hello, everybody. I hope we can find some common ground. Okay, class has been going on for a while now. I won't interrupt you anymore. Study. Thank you so much. That's cool, Mikey. The teacher is beautiful, even. That's true, JJ. And you guys, listen attentively to your new teacher and behave diligently. It's going to be fine. What are you telling us? She's worried we'll start doing the usual dopey stuff. Let her be afraid, because we can. I'm really excited to meet you all. You're awesome. Watch what I'm about to do, Mikey. This is going to be funny. What did you come up with, JJ? Look at her face now, Mikey. What? Who just did that? What kind of outrage is this? Ha ha ha, look how she reacted. She didn't even realize who did it. Okay, I realize you're having fun with this, but there's a test coming up. I will test your knowledge and decide who is capable of learning and who is not. The test is awful, but to look at a figure like that every day is divine. I agree, JJ, especially with such beautiful clothes. It looks even better. But still, test writing so immediately is not a good thing. Don't worry, the test will be written well by those who know a little bit of something. I'd rather have her stay like that in every class than this test. Still, I think we'll write okay. Moments later. I don't understand how I could have written everything with mistakes. I'm in shock myself right now because I don't have a single correct answer either. She just came to us and immediately started giving us all sorts of tests. She's kind of crazy. First they repeat everything, and then they just write the test. I agree with you completely, but she doesn't see it that way. Look, there's that evil teacher. Oh, what are you guys doing here? We're just relaxing and talking. No big deal. Discussing how you gave us the test as soon as you came in. Ah, uh, and I think you're so mean. You're discussing the test. Well, you guys need to study. We're kind of learning as we go. Then it needs to be even better since you wrote it like that. We just weren't ready for it. Be prepared for anything because I won't feel sorry for anyone and give corrected grades. Okay, we hear you. Can we talk alone? Because the two of us would really like to decide how best to proceed with our studies. I'll stay out of your way, She's so disgusting, isn't she? I thought girls with that figure were cute, but she's not. I suggest we punish her for that and put laxatives in her food. She just went to the cafeteria. Great idea, Mikey, but are you sure she went to the cafeteria and we can do this? You saw for yourself that she went upstairs. We have to go and make sure of it. Do you have any laxatives? Sure, otherwise I wouldn't have suggested doing it. Well, then there's nothing stopping us from doing it. All you have to do is distract her and I'll slip it into her food. Okay, Mikey, I think you and I can make this work. Then let's get over there before she leaves. Now let's see how much fun she'll have running to the bathroom. That's right. Next time she'll be afraid to give us tests like this. That's for sure, because she believed too much that she is a good teacher. Look, she's there and eating something, so our plan can be done. That's for sure. She doesn't even suspect anything. The main thing you need to do is distract her well, JJ, so that she doesn't suspect anything. Okay, Mikey, I think I can do it. Just do it fast. I can only do it quickly if you're a good distraction. Okay, Okay, let's try. I think I can do everything efficiently. Come on, JJ, you can start your plan. What should I talk to her about? I don't know, come up with something. Hello, teacher. Hello again. I would like to discuss the test. All right, tell me. And I left him there near the classroom. Let's go together. Yes, I saw it myself. It's right on the locker. Maybe you can go get it yourself. I'm actually eating. I would love to, but I wouldn't want to discuss this here. There are a lot of people here, and I'm a little ashamed. All right, let's go, but hurry up. I want to finish my lunch in time. Then I think we can just discuss it here so as not to waste our time. All right, tell me. Moreover, I have it here. It turns out that I got it mixed up. Well, then show me and tell me what you don't understand. I'll explain everything. Yes, I don't even know how to tell you about it, but I think it's 
still not that important. I'll come home and figure it out on my own. Okay, JJ, that's right. It's better for you to figure it out alone. Then next time, it will be easier for you to write a test. Well, thank you very much for your time. What are you standing here for, Mikey? Did you want to eat my cake? No, of course. I just made sure that no one else ate it. Is it true? Then thank you very much. You just go rest. I want to eat alone. Yes, of course. We won't bother you. Bon appetit to you. Thanks a lot, guys. I am sure that you will like this cake very much. I did everything right, JJ. This effect should work instantly. Then let's see how funny she's going to run now. Oh, and what kind of flavor is so strange in the cake? And it's like there's something going on in my stomach. Do you hear? Yeah. Your laxative has started to take effect. Oh, no. I think my pants are going to be dirty now. I need to run to the toilet as soon as possible. Ha, ha, ha. Look how fast he's running. That's hilarious. Let's run after her. Let's look at her in the toilet. That's a great idea, Mikey, as long as she doesn't notice us. My god, what's wrong with this cake? I really want to go to the toilet. That's it, Mikey. She's gone. She's going to sit down now. How long will she be sitting there? Long enough, JJ. I've been taking a lot of laxatives. Are we just going to watch her feel bad, or are we going to do something? I have a great idea, JJ. You have no idea what I came up with. And what did you come up with? I hope it's going to be as much fun as she ran to the bathroom. Now, not only we will laugh, but also the whole school. I have a camera with me. We can take a picture of her and hang a photo at school. I think it will be a great punishment for the test. That's right, Mikey. You just came up with a brilliant idea. Then let's do it quickly while she's still sitting there. Then come in and do everything. I'll look at it. Okay, JJ, I'm coming in. Look, she's sitting there and doesn't even suspect anything. Yes, JJ, I'm going to take this picture now. My God, was the cake overdue? How can the stomach hurt so much? She still doesn't understand how it happened. Hey, what are you doing here? Have you completely lost your fear? Better make a smile. You are being photographed. What do you allow yourself? Are you completely stupid or something? You shouldn't have given us the test. Are you crazy? This is a routine knowledge test. And you break the rules and come into my toilet and take a photo. Run, Mikey. She's going to attack us now. She's very angry. It's so funny. No, it's not funny at all. You shouldn't do that. Better go further to the toilet. Otherwise, the laxative is still working. So you did it all. I will talk to the director so that you will be punished for this. Better run to the bathroom while your pants are still clean. You will regret it very much. Oh my god, that was great, Mikey. It was a lot of fun. Don't forget that we have more photos of her sitting in the toilet. Precisely. We need to print them out and hang them right at school. Then let's not waste time so that she comes out of the toilet and is stunned with horror. Yes, it will be simply legendary. Do you know where to print it? Yes, of course. It doesn't take long to walk here. Then let's run quickly. We need to do everything in time. Three hours later. How funny we have decorated her photo again. Everyone will definitely laugh from this. You're right about that. Let's put these photos right here so as many people as possible can see it. I'll cover the whole wall. It's not for nothing that we printed out so much. Ha ha ha, how amusing it is. Just look at how funny this is. She will definitely be shocked when she sees these photos in person. We also need other students to see this. Hey guys, look, it's the new teacher. Ha ha ha, that's right, look how funny it looks. Yes guys, we did it because she gave us this test. You did everything right. Well done guys, it's a lot of fun. Did you decorate the photo too? Of course, it looks even funnier this way. Yes, it's true. We laughed heartily. Thank you for that. No problem, guys. She brought this on herself. It worked out just perfectly, JJ. Everyone is laughing at our new teacher. Yeah, Mikey. All that's left is for the teacher to see it for herself. Well, it looks like she's coming. Phew, I think I'm finally feeling better. And here come the culprits of my illness. You better look at what we've done. It's pretty funny, isn't it? Did you really take a picture of me? You printed it out and put it up here? Sure. Or did you think we were kidding? We're avenging for this test. Everyone at school will see this and make fun of me. Why did you do that? I'm very offended that you would do such a thing. Why are you upset? It's funny. No, now I'm going to get kicked out of school. Let us clean it up. Just don't give any more tests like that. No, you don't have to do anything. Everyone's already seen it anyway. Why did she become sad? We have to apologize soon or she'll cry. This is all kind of weird. Don't get upset. No one saw it. I could hear the guys laughing when I was in the restroom. No need to lie to you. There's nothing more to be done anyway. Apparently, we really need to take down all the photos. We need to calm her down first. Yeah, Mikey's right. We need to apologize or we really went overboard. Don't cry. We'll do everything we can to apologize. I don't know if it's necessary. I won't worry here anymore anyway. We made a big mistake, Mikey. We shouldn't have done that to her. And now that we are alone in the basement and no one will see us, you will be held accountable for what you have done. You deserve to be beaten with a bat right now. Did you think you could get away with it? I'll show you what I'll really do to you. Come here, you little jokers. Oh no, Mikey. She brought us here on purpose. What do we do now? We can't run away. You have nothing to do but get hit with a bat all over your body. Somebody help us, please. Don't hit us, please. Ah! 
the next day. Mikey and I are sitting in class trying not to die of boredom. Personally, I'm trying to understand at least a little bit of what this fine teacher is even telling us. It's not an interesting thing she's saying. Wait, what did you say? I said the teacher is beautiful. Look at how pretty she is. Jesus, Mikey, she's a decade older than you. What are you thinking? I just like the way she looks. Wow, how did the whole class go by so fast? That's great. This class is finally over. Now we're waiting to go home. Okay, guys, we did a good job with you today. Now you can go home safely. Have a great evening and rest of the day. Okay, Mikey, we can finally go home. Then we won't waste any time. It's easy to go home. But no one leaves. Can't we stay a little longer? No, we're about to get detained. We need to get out of here fast so we don't get left behind for more tasks. By the way, we can't forget about that beautiful blackboard. Guys, be sure to put a like and subscribe to our channel to not miss new videos. That's right. It goes a long way in helping us keep you happy every day. I think everyone has already liked and subscribed. Great. I didn't doubt it. Now we can go home in peace. Maybe we'll stop by on the way for a walk somewhere. I don't know, JJ. I'd love to just stay home. Why? You'll be home in plenty of time. You have to have fun so school tomorrow won't be so boring. Hey, JJ, wait up. I need to talk to you. Because you ran away so fast after class. You let us go. That's why we went. What did you want? Nothing serious. I was just giving the results for a test. You got the best grade possible. Wow, I've never had that before. It's just so super done. Yes, JJ, you're doing great. You can be proud of yourself. Thank you so much. You have boosted my spirits to the max with this news. And what's my grade? What? It's business as usual for you, Mikey. Worst grade in the whole class. Seriously? I couldn't have written that badly. Then see for yourself. Not one correct answer. This is a disgrace to the school, Mikey. I don't understand how this happened. I really tried to write well. But it turned out disgusting. You just need to learn from your friend how to write tests. Okay, I get it. Uh, thank you. You can go about your business. I'm not saying goodbye to you, JJ. I'll see you around. Today, rest up and don't do any activities. Uh, all right. Let's go home then, Mikey. Thank you for giving me the test. I don't understand how I could have written the test so poorly. Don't forget, I'll see you again, JJ. Okay, I got it. Have a good day. There's something very strange about the teacher's behavior, but I'm really surprised I got this great and I'm surprised I got the worst grade, except I'm not happy about it. Come on, things happen. Don't get upset. Wrote badly. It happens. But there's no need to get upset about it. You'll write better later. Okay, JJ. Thanks for the encouragement. Let's go home. I don't want to stay here at school. I'm keeping this test. It's really a surprise to me. On the contrary, I'm going to throw this disgrace right here outside the school, never to be seen again. That's right, Mikey. Leave it right there. I'd do the same thing if I were you. I understand because I don't want to remember the horror. That's it, Mikey. We're going in different directions, so it's time to say goodbye. Yeah, JJ, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Thanks, Mikey. You too. My friend is gone. I didn't want to brag in front of him about having the best grade ever, but I'm insanely happy about it. It's very beautiful. Two hours later. Okay, guys, I'm coming home now. Now I gotta figure out where to put my pride. I want to look at it every day and be happy, but I don't have a good place to put my test. Okay, I'll keep this for now. Now I gotta wash my hands after I've been outside. I've got so much bacteria on my hands. Everyone needs to do this to be always healthy and never get sick. Who's that coming to see me? Did Mikey forget something? That's weird. He went the other way. He couldn't have come to me that fast. But who else could have come to me? Hey, JJ, I told you I'd see you again. I came to see you. Hello again. Why did you come to see me? I just want to spend time with my favorite and smartest student. I really miss hanging out with you. But we see each other every day day in class. There are too many people out there who could get in our way. There's no one here and I just want to be with you. Let's just be alone together and have the time we want. Wait, but that's kind of weird. I'm your student and you're my teacher. You don't need to set such limits. You and I are two people who can be together. But it's really weird and kind of wrong, isn't it? I don't feel very comfortable with that kind of behavior. You just need to relax and enjoy. The two of us are so smart and so beautiful. I understand, but either way, it's all wrong and I don't want to spend my time like that. You just need to stop worrying. Lie down on the bed and relax, and I can make everything comfortable for you. Look at me. Don't you like the way I look? It's not every day you get a girl like this. That's all well and good, of course, but I'm really uncomfortable. Then I'll come to you myself, JJ. Are you ready? No, I'm really not ready. Don't, please. Now I'm going to do it, and you're going to be fine. Uh, who else is here to see you? I don't know. I'm not expecting anyone to visit, but I think we should go and see who it is. It could be something important. What if some bad people came to rob you? Why don't we just leave it alone? What if it's someone important coming to tell some important news. I don't think there's any point in wasting time on this. It's better to be alone and not be distracted. You hear that? Someone really wants me to open it. We'd better go see who it is. Jesus, what's all this for? Let's open up quickly and tell
tell them not to distract us. Okay, but you can't ignore people anyway. They don't ring the doorbell for nothing. All right, open up and see who's in there. Okay, thank you very much. How long can I wait for you, JJ? It's taking you so long to open it. Thank you so much for coming. I have guests at home. Come on in soon. Our teacher came to see me. Hello there. Yeah, hey, Mikey. What are you guys doing here? We were taking apart my test, but I just had to run to the store for groceries. What? I thought we were hanging out with you, JJ. Yes, of course, but I really need to go while the stores are open. Why don't you two talk and I'll join you later? Well, that's kind of weird, JJ. Okay, I'll get out of your way. I'm going grocery shopping. Wait, JJ, but what am I supposed to do with her all this time? I don't even know, Mikey, but don't you worry. Socialize. Do something useful. Jesus, okay, JJ, just come back quickly. Of course, I'll definitely be back as soon as possible. Don't you guys get bored. Jesus, thank God Mikey came to me. I don't understand what's gotten into the teacher and why she's hitting on me so openly. Meanwhile, I'm going to stretch my time as long as I can. I hope she leaves. Three hours later. It's been quite a while now and it's managed to get a little dark. I had already bought everything and was approaching the house. I hope no one is at home. I hope Mikey made her tired and went to his house because I don't want to be alone with her. Please, I just want to open the door and not see anyone in there. Maximum Mikey. Seriously? They're sitting around doing something together? I've already explained to you a bunch of times how to do it. Why don't you try to figure it out for yourself? Is that the right way to do it now? Yeah, Mikey, well done. After a while, you figured out how to do everything. Look, JJ's finally back! Yay, I thought he was never coming back! JJ, what took you so long? There was just a lot of line. Okay, I gotta go home now. You two talk. Thanks so much for explaining to me how to do everything. I think the next test will be great. No, Mikey, don't go. Let's have another threesome. That's it, JJ, bye. Oh no, Mikey, stop! Mikey's finally gone. Now you and I can spend time together without anyone bothering us. I've missed you so much all this time. That Mikey is so stupid, unlike you. God, please, I have other things to do. Cook with the groceries I bought. I'll make you a meal after you give me your time, JJ. But I am very, very hungry, and I really want to just rest before tomorrow. Look at me, JJ. Is food more important than a pretty girl like me? I think I'm much better than that. Wait, I realize you're very beautiful and pretty, but I really just want to eat and rest. You can relax with me, JJ. It's not that hard to make me feel good. I understand that, but I don't want it. Why? Don't you like me? I'm not comfortable with you hitting on me like this. You're my teacher, and I don't like you. I don't want any of this. What? Really? Yes! I just want you to go home and let me rest in peace alone. Are you out of your mind? I just like you! And you don't! You're my teacher and nothing else! Are you serious right now? I just want to be with you and you treat me like this? Stay here alone then! But I didn't mean to offend you! I'd say what I think of you, but I'm not worthy of swearing at someone like you! Why are you so upset with me? I'm just saying what I think, that's all! I just wanted to have a good time with you because I liked you and you're awful, JJ! <laughs> Stay home and rest now, but don't even think about coming near me again. Okay, I'll do that. I'm gonna hit you now, JJ. No, you don't. That's it. I'm finally rid of her. Now I can cook and rest in peace. How embarrassing to be in that situation with your teacher. But the main thing is that I was able to say everything, and now it won't happen again. Now I'm just gonna bed to forget this day. The next day. The next day came and I am almost there for school. Mikey's already standing here. He came pretty fast, it's weird. Hey, Mikey, stop, wait for me. Oh, JJ, I thought you were in school, but you just got here. So you came as early as you've never come before. I just woke up pretty early today, so I went straight to school. Wow, you really surprised me. Then let's go to class together. Of course it's time to study, because I have to fix that horrible grade. It's true, and I can study in peace as usual. Yeah, lucky you, and I have to study to fix my test. Yeah, you gotta work hard today so you can just go home feeling good. Oh, you guys didn't know we weren't studying today? It's not like we're studying today. Wow, that's just awesome. But since you're here today, then I'll give you your graded test. We've been writing it for quite some time, but I only got the hands to check it all out today, so I'll show you all about it now. JJ, you have the worst First grade ever. What? How? I couldn't write so badly. It's impossible. And look for yourself. Not one right answer. But how is that possible? I wrote a perfect score on the last test. There's no way this test is so bad. Take a look for yourself and all questions will go away. You should have been better prepared for this, JJ. But it's all crossed out and I can't see anything. And you, Mikey, are doing a great job. You wrote better than anyone in the class. I'm very proud of your results. Wow, really? Yay, I'm really excited about this. But how is that possible? He completely completely failed the last test. You're very smart, Mikey. I knew that last test was just a mistake. I'll get you out of that bad grade. Wow, thank you so much for this. 
You are the best teacher in the world. And to you, JJ, I removed the past best grade because it was undeserved. What the hell is going on? I wrote this test myself. Mikey, don't you want to spend some time alone downstairs? We'll do something. We'll talk. Oh, really? I'd love to. Then follow me quickly. Don't waste time. And you're seriously going to go there? Sure, JJ. It's my dream. I really like the teacher, and I'm really glad she offered to spend time with me. Why would you do that? Can't we just go to the playground for a walk? No, JJ, I'm sorry. I can't turn down this opportunity. We'll definitely go out tomorrow. In the meantime, I'm gonna go be alone with my crash. Bye-bye, JJ. Yeah, Mikey traded me. I hope you guys will at least like and subscribe. I hope you won't leave me and stay on our channel to watch the videos. In the meantime, I'm going home with my terrible test grade. That teacher did all this on purpose because I turned her down yesterday. But at least she's not bothering me anymore. See you next morning. We are having fun at the entertainment center today and having a great time. Now I'm going to show you how beautiful it all looks here and how much fun it is. Hey guys, JJ said it right. It's awesome here. And you have no idea how glad I am that the three of us are here. Look how excited everyone is because it really is a great place to hang out. There are tons of different toys out there and everyone gets to choose what they want. And we always have two of our people standing by to spend time with us and observe. All in all, I hope you realize that this place is really fun and great. Look how cute cute the dog is, JJ. There are such great toys here. I've never had one of these before. It's true. I'm shocked myself. Oh no, look. We are formidable and terrible bandits. Now we are going to torture everyone. Oh no, God. What should we do now? We have to hide somewhere so the bandits don't kill us. Mikey, hurry up and get over here. We'll hide in here. I'm really scared, JJ. Why did the bandits come here? I don't know, Mikey, but I hope they back off and don't hurt us. But they are trying to do something and apparently they are very mean-spirited. Everyone is sitting in different corners. What are we going to do with them? Let them sit back and be afraid. We need one hostage of some kind. Look who I found for you. We definitely need this cute little girl. Great, she's perfect. Oh no, Mikey, look, they got F Mal. We gotta do something. I'm really scared, JJ. I don't know what to say. Dear bandits, please don't hurt the defenseless girl. She didn't do anything wrong. I'm really scared. Please let me go. Have you heard what those funny kids are saying? They think they're the ultimate daredevils. No, no way. I just don't want her to get hurt. Then it's you who gets hurt, kid. No, just get out of here. These kids are getting a little frisky. They don't even know what's going on, but they're already acting like superheroes. No, we're not superheroes. I'm sick of you. Don't bother us. Don't you touch me. <laughs> One hour later. Now we're going to play your last game of life with you. It's going to be a lot of fun, especially for us. Please don't hurt the children. Let them go. You want to get punched in the face for saying that too? The police are finally here. Hooray. Don't move, bandits. Drop your weapons or we'll shoot. Don't shoot. We put all the guns away. Quick, everybody out. You guys are going to jail for a long time. Thank you, police officers, for saving all the poor kids. Don't cry. It's okay. We took all the bandits away. No one will hurt you anymore. We have a boy lying unconscious. We need to call an ambulance and get him to the hospital soon. I've already called. Don't worry. The ambulance is on its way. He'll be fine. He's very brave. He tried to save us all from the bandits. God, my head hurts so bad. Wow, where am I? Where are all these horrible bandits? Apparently, I am in the hospital and we have already been rescued. JJ, you're finally awake. We're so glad. We felt very strongly about you. It's really good to see you too. What are you kids jumping around for? What's the matter? Whoa, JJ, you're awake. How are you feeling? A little bit of a headache, but overall, I feel great. That's great. We're very excited. We will check your tests and make sure your life is not in danger. Yeah, sure. I don't mind. All of this will be done by our nurse. She will be the one to monitor your health. Yes, JJ. I'll make sure you get better as soon as possible. Okay, thank you so much for your concern. Hold on to your first pills. They'll help heal you quickly and painlessly. Drink it all at once, JJ, if you want it to be good. I drank it all. Thanks again. All right, JJ, you rest up, and I'll go give the pills to the rest of your friends. Thank you so much. Are you sure we're going to be okay? You, Mikey, don't even have any injuries. Don't worry. Good thing we were able to survive the bandits. That's true, JJ, but you've got a lot of injuries to heal before you can go home. I understand. I'll have no problem getting this done. Thanks again for your concern. You're welcome, JJ. How cool that I have some such a great nurse. She is very caring to me. Will you stop talking about her already? What's wrong with that? I don't understand it myself. Okay, okay, forget all that. Let's figure out what we can do. I don't even know. Now I'll get the pencils and we'll draw. You can even go 
show together so no one gets bored. We're gonna be in this hospital for a long time anyway. You're running too fast, JJ. I think we can get pencils from the guard. He'll give them to us. Here's my nurse running around. She's beautiful after all. I'm glad she's treating me. Okay, never mind. I gotta get some pencils. Hello, guard. Could you give me some pencils? We're going to draw from above. Sure, take them, but don't lose them, please. Everything will be fine. Thank you very much. I wonder where my nurse has gone. JJ, we're on top. We found a place to paint. Well done, guys. Then let's go have some fun already. What are we going to draw? Anything you want, Mikey. There's no restrictions. We're just having a great time together. That's great. As long as you don't compete to see who's better. Don't worry, Mikey. We'll just paint and that's it. Awesome. Five minutes later. I'm getting tired of drawing, guys. Why don't we do something new? What else is there to do in a hospital? A lot of things, guys. Like, we can play catch up. It's a big hospital. All right, I don't mind. Who's gonna be the first to try to catch up? You, try to catch up now. Why is it always me? Okay, I'll take care of this in no time. You can't catch up with me. It's no use. I almost did it, Mikey. Now you're catching up to everyone. How did you do that? I'll catch up with you now. No, Mikey, you can't. There's no one in this hospital faster than me. I'm right behind you. Now you're catching up again. How did you get here so fast? Well, I can still catch up with everyone. Now I'll catch up with Aphmau. She definitely can't run away from me. No, don't do it. I've already done it. What are you kids doing running around? You can't do that in hospitals, in case you didn't know. Okay, although we had so much fun doing it. Don't feel bad, we'll play something else. Why are you standing there sad? Why doesn't anyone catch up with me? We've been banned from playing catch up, so we can't do it anymore. Play something else, but you can't run around. Okay, thanks, we got it. What are we going to do then? We're going to play hide and seek with you. JJ is the first. First one looking for us. Okay, guys, but hide well. I won't give much time. All right, let's go, Mikey. I'm going to play fair and not peek where they ran because they have no chance of hiding from me anyway. Now I'm going to do a little math and after that I'll run right out to find them. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, that's enough time. Now I can go and look. I think they hid very well after all, but I can still find them anywhere. There's kind of no one on this side. And this way, Jesus, does Mikey really think he can't be seen? Hey, Mikey, I found you. You're standing in a flower. You can move. I know it's you. How did you find me so fast? I was so well hidden. I thought I could win. Okay, Mikey. Now wait for me to find Aphmau. Yeah, Mikey's very funny. Did he really think I wouldn't see him there? I think the girl's gonna be harder to find. There doesn't seem to be anyone here. We have to keep moving. Could she be here? I think this is a great place. It's definitely gonna be a good place to check out. But it's like she's not here. JJ, what are you doing here? No, it's okay. I'm sorry. I got the wrong door. Okay, she's not there. Then where could she be? Wow, a beautiful nurse went to some room. Maybe we should follow her. Or did she go to the bathroom? Then I should just close the door. But I really wanna go after her. I will. I just wanna look at her. Hello, beautiful nurse. Hey, JJ, what are you doing here? I saw you and came over just to chat. You are so funny and also very brave. It turns out you wanted to save everyone from the bandits. Yes, it's true. I just didn't want them to hurt us. What are you doing here with the nurse, JJ? Actually, you're supposed to be looking for me. I'm not doing anything. I just thought you were there. You're always talking to her. I'm sick of it. I don't want to see it. I really didn't do anything, did I? Where are you running off to? Don't be mad at me, please. I don't know what's going on, but I'm really scared. She took offense at me for nothing, and the nurse went to socialize with her. Come here, JJ. Aphmau has taken offense. You need to make up with her. No, I don't want anything. Get out of here. I don't want to talk to you. Why are you being so rude to me? Please forgive me for hurting you. I didn't mean to do it. But you're always talking to the nurse, and I want you to talk to me. Well, it's just my friends. I talk to everyone. Let's go hug and make up. Okay, JJ. I'm sorry I yelled at you like that. It's all right. The next day. I wonder how much longer we'll be here. It all depends on JJ. If he gets discharged, we all go home after that. Then I hope he comes back with good news. I hope so too, Mikey. How's it going, doctor? Am I completely healthy now? Yes, JJ, we're discharging you. You're completely healthy. It's true. Yay, I'm excited to finally go home. You're doing great, JJ. You're a very good patient. Thank you so much, and you are the best doctor ever. Now I can tell my friends the good news, because we were getting tired of the three of us being here. I'm sure they'll be very excited about it. Now you'll see for yourself. Guys, I got news for you. They finally discharged you? Yes, that's right. I'm completely healthy, which means we can all go home. Finally. I'm so tired of being here. And I honestly want to go home soon, too. Hey, JJ, I heard you finally got discharged. It's true. We're going home now. I have a little gift for you. First of all, it's ice cream. And second, it's a kiss. Um, I'm a little shocked. Thank you. You deserve it, JJ. 
Good luck getting home. Okay, thanks again. What was that just now? I don't want to see you again, JJ. No, Afmal, wait. I don't know what that just was. Hurry up and run after her and apologize, JJ. Please forgive me. I really didn't know what was coming. No offense to me. Don't run away from us. We want to go home, too. Don't come near me. I've warned you several times, and you're doing the same thing again. Well, it's not my fault this nurse treats me like this. I'm just a regular boy, and I didn't think she'd do it. I don't care what you say. I don't want to hang out with you. I'm sorry. Please don't run away. The next day. A few more approaches and I'm done. All right, that's it. It's okay to take a little vacation. I'm at my house and decided to work out because I've been feeling my strength draining lately. I have everything I need right here in my gym corner. Of course, it's not like the gym, but it's not bad either. This is a special room. I think in the future my mom and I will expand everything in here and it will be like a full gym. Now I'm off to my mom's to see what she's doing and warn her that my friend Mikey is coming over soon. Here is my mom standing in the kitchen cooking something delicious as usual. We've still done some wonderful renovations. Hope you're noticing that. It's all very pretty. I like it a lot. Hey, Mom, hi. I came to tell you that Mikey's coming to visit us soon. Do you hear me? I'm right here. Yeah, JJ, sorry, I'm thinking about it. Well, let him come over. I don't mind seeing him. And you can have fun. Yes, it's true. Thank you so much, Mom. You're welcome, JJ. Then I'll go to my room and wait for him to come. He'll probably be late. Wow, really? He's already here? I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm on my way to open it. Wait. Hey, Mikey, I already opened it. Hey, JJ, I'm here with my mom. Hello, JJ. Sure, come on in quickly. My mom's home too. Wow, it's so beautiful. Did you renovate? Thank you so much. My mom and I worked really hard for this. Stop standing in the hallway. Mikey, let's go play something at my place. And what exactly do you want to do? Let our parents talk and we'll play with balls, for example. No, JJ, I don't like it. Let's watch the news. There's always something interesting on the news. Oh my God, this is boring, but I guess I have no choice. I've already found the remote. Sit down and we'll watch. Come on, turn it on. Let's see what's interesting. Wow, JJ, I told you this would be interesting. Breaking news. Aboriginal people have been found on the island who have been living here for a long time. The decision has been made to send them to live with humans. This is a surprise to us. We don't want to go anywhere. This is our home. But since we have no choice, then we'll have to live with some people. My tribal friend is shocked too. We've been developing here for so long and they're sending us to the country. It's disgusting. I'm very unhappy about this. Again, they come up with something weird. What's all this for anyway? Shall we go find out where they are and have a chat? Wow, sure. I'm glad you suggested it. Then we need to ask permission from our parents. Go ahead, JJ. I'm with you. Hey, parents, we have something we want to ask you. You take the golden apples first. They're delicious. I think you'll need them someday for sure. Thank you very much. But we saw on the news that the aboriginals are in our village. Can we go and see them? Was that on TV? Yeah. That's pretty interesting. Go ahead and tell us all about it later. Thank you so much. Come on, Mikey. Let's not waste any time. I told you it's fun to watch the news. You'd be playing ball without knowing anything. Okay, stop bringing that up. An exception to the rule just happened. Now let's go find out where the natives live. I think you're interested in watching it too, and will definitely give us a like. It's gonna be cool. Where are we supposed to find them now, Mikey? The oldest civilian lives right here. I think he knows for sure. Do you think that's a good idea? Idea. We don't even have any others, though. Hello, can you tell us where the natives live? Of course, you have to go that way and you'll find it. Thank you so much. Come on, Mikey. We'll see them soon and have a chat. Will you take my delicious juice for a drink? Of course, thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Because I see you've been walking for a long time. This is delicious. Thank you again for your kindness. We should get going in case they take them back to the island. Good thing you showed me this resident. Let's go where he said. Apparently, this is the house they live in. The lodge is very scary, and the sign doesn't inspire confidence. They just haven't met us yet. That's why they're so unfriendly. I really hope so, Mikey, although it sounds reckless. Just open the door and let's see how they live here. All right, let's just go in together. I'm getting scared to do it. Then I'll come in. Hey, hello. Whoa, what are you guys doing here? Why did you come to our house? JJ, look, there's another Aborigine standing over there with a spear. Tell us what you need from us. We just wanted to meet you and see how you live. I think you did it for nothing. You'll regret it. Oh no, JJ, they're very unfriendly. Let's just go home and it'll be like we were never here. I don't think they're just gonna let us go. That's right, you will now be our food for the day. Jesus, Mikey, we gotta get away from them now. They ran after us. We have to come up with something fast. 
Just run, Mikey. I don't want to be eaten by the abnormal natives. We can't run for too long. They're fast. We have to find a place to hide. Why did we even come to see them? It's obvious they are crazies and don't like humans. Come on in here, JJ. What is this place? It's a library. We should hide and hope they get off our backs. Then let's do it soon, while we still have time. Let's go upstairs. I think we've got what we need. Where are you, Mikey? They've already come in. Hurry up and find us a place. I have no idea what to do. Let's hide behind the closet. This place is disgusting, JJ. We'll be easy to find. Didn't have time to find a better place, Mikey. Let's see where they are. Oh, no, they're right here. They're going to go upstairs. Hurry up and run, Mikey, while they're looking for us on the third floor. Nice work, JJ. Let's run away. Oh, no, they've spotted us. Come here, little ones. They're coming after us again, Mikey. We gotta do something again. Let's run home. Our moms will help us. I really hope we make the run. Five minutes later. How persistent they are. They're still chasing us. Don't get distracted. JJ, just run. We're almost home. I really hope our moms know what to do and help us out. They're so close. We might not make it. Stop running. We're going to eat you anyway. There's so much different food in the countryside. Why should we be the ones to eat? We made it home in time, JJ. We have to tell our moms. Hurry up and run inside. We must have time to ask for help. It was so scary. Thank goodness we're here. What happened to you guys? Why are you so frightened? Because the evil natives want to eat us for coming to them. Hide, we'll help you. We'll save you from them. Oh no, they're already here. Mikey, Let's go hide somewhere. There's no normal place for it here. I hope moms will save us. There you are, Prey. Come here to me. Oh no, Mikey. One's coming. You can't get away from me now. Hurry up and come this way. He's coming in from the other side. I'm really scared, JJ. I don't know what to do. Don't panic, Mikey. Just do what I tell you. We've got time while he's out there trying to catch up with us. Where do we go now? We need to find the parents. Guys, hurry up and run over here. You need to hide while we look for weapons. Okay, but where exactly are we supposed to hide? I don't know. Decide something quick. Jesus. Come on, Mikey. Hurry up and get over here. There's a place to hide. We'll save you, children. Jesus, what if they eat our moms? Don't think about it. I'm sure they can handle it. Quiet. There's a native here. They're hiding, Sneaky. Ooh, I think he got away from us. We have to figure something out. We have to help the parents. JJ, Mikey, get out of there. They saw you. Oh, no. Where do we go? You just need to hide and you need to do it fast. I got you. Mikey, hurry up and get out of there. The native knows where we are. I'm running, JJ, but where do you and I hide? We need to get to the second floor. There's a lot of different rooms. Let's run in here. It's an inconspicuous room. As long as we're not seen, please hide, JJ. Calm down. I see an aborigine. He's gone by. Great. We fooled them. What are you doing hiding behind that curtain? I'm just really scared, JJ. I'm panicking. But I think it's pointless to sit here. If they come into this room, they'll definitely check it out. Well done, Mikey. I'm glad you're thinking instead of panicking. Let's go out and see where they are. We have to figure something out. They're nowhere near here. I don't know where they've gone. Gotta check to make sure it's not scary to walk around the house. Let them think I didn't see them in that room. We'll come and eat them. Great plan. Well done. They're here. He heard us. Oh no, Mikey. Run quickly. They're after us again. We can't hide anywhere around here, JJ. There's nothing left for us to do but run. Let's finally round them up and catch them. Great plan. We'll be eating soon. Oh no, Mikey. I guess we don't have long to live. But where are our parents? Why aren't they even trying to save us? We're in a lot of trouble. We're at a dead end. There's nowhere to go. She's chasing us. We're about to be eaten. Please, guys, give us a like. I hope it will help us escape these horrible natives. There's nothing we can do, JJ. They're too close. We finally caught them because I'm so hungry. I told you you wouldn't be saved. Children, hurry up and eat the apples I gave you. Now we'll save you. My mom and your mom are going to save us after all. Eat your apple, Mikey. I told you you wouldn't eat on. We attack them all together. I feel energized. Hurry up and hit them and don't let them escape. What kind of apples did you rats eat? These are enchanted apples. You can't beat us now. We're the strongest on the planet. You'll know how to hurt our children. Beat them all. They deserve it. We surrender. Please don't kill us. Ha ha ha. We won. Now we need to call the police and have them put them in jail. Now you know what happens if you attack us and our parents. That's right. Be thankful you're alive. Would you excuse us, please? No, they must suffer their punishment. Hurry up and call the police and tell them about these natives. I totally agree, JJ. Now I'll get my phone, too, and ask to come here. Great. Now we're free and clear. And these island monsters are going to live in prison for a very long time. Please forgive us. And what is prison? Here's the police station where these natives are sitting. Let's hurry up and see what they're doing to them. I agree, especially since I really want to see their faces. Come on in already. Hi. 
Hi, we're here to find out about the Aborigines. It was us they attacked. Yeah, sure. Let me take you to the boss. Great. They're letting us in no problem, Mikey. Follow me. The boss will show you where they sit. That's great. I can't be happy with what you and I have done. It's true. I'm very happy, too. These guys are with me. They fought the natives. Come on in. Don't worry. Okay. We have so much respect from everyone here. It's wonderful. This is where our biggest boss sits. You can come in and chat with him. It's very honorable. We'd love to do it. Wait for me, JJ. Let's go together. Hello. Did you guys fight those natives so bravely? Yes, that's us. And we'd like to know what's going on with them. Yes, of course. I'll show you where they are. Come follow me. Finally, yay. Don't be long, Mikey. This is exactly where we put them. Away from other regular people. Then let's go in and take a look. The first Aborigine is sitting in this cell. We are also running tests and finding out why they behave like this. That's right. We need to find out why they are so aggressive. I'm going to get out of here sooner or later and eat you kids anyway. He's still angry and aggressive. It's much easier with this one. Please forgive us. We realized our mistake. She really is less aggressive. It's true. The doctor will come soon and tell you everything. That's great. I'm very happy with the way things are going here. It's the right thing to do. I'm very happy too. Oh, here comes the doctor. Yes, hello, everyone. We've had a lot of tests and work done. It's hard, but we're trying. Things are so much easier with a girl than with a man. But at least he stopped lunging at people. Come on, JJ, thank you. Goodbye, thank you. Why did you run away like that? It was interesting to hear the doctor. I'm tired of hearing all this. Let's go home and play something. The main thing is that we made sure they are behind bars and being trained, so I agree. Let's go home, Mikey. Last one to arrive is the loser. Hey, stop. That's not fair. One million zillion jillion dillion cotillion times later. Thought I'd show you today how I'm having a great time in front of the TV and watching cartoons. It's very rare that I get to just sit back and show you my favorite cartoon. But I'm really having a lot of fun. Wow, the doorbell scared me. Gotta go see who came to our house. Maybe it's my friend Mikey coming to spend time with me. Or maybe it is just some people who came to my parents' house. I'm gonna find out. Hello, JJ. I'm here to hang out with you. Will you let me come to your place? Sure, Mikey. It's good to see you. Don't be shy. Come on in. Thank you, JJ. What are you and I gonna do? I don't know, Mikey. What do you want? We could, like, go for a walk together. That's a great idea. We can go to the backyard and do something out there. I agree, JJ. It's been a while since you've had me there. Nothing much has changed there, but it's still as fun as it's always been. I see there's a new terrace. That's true, but there's nothing to do here anyway. The most interesting stuff is further away. Now I'm going to close the door behind us and we can go have fun. That's right. Now let's run to the playground. This is my favorite playground. It's the coolest in our village. I'm glad to hear that, but what are we going to do? I'll traditionally climb up to my favorite spot, like I've always done. It's true. You've been doing this all your life. Because I'm very brave and I like to be on top of things. Come on down. We all know you're making yourself at home here. I'm here now, JJ. What do we do next? I guess it doesn't matter. Just have fun and enjoy. I like your plan. It's the right one. Absolutely. Wait, my parents are coming over here. There you guys are. We thought you'd left. We've come to tell you something. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. How long have you guys been hanging out here? Mikey just recently came to visit us. Actually, it doesn't matter. We're here to say we're leaving for two, three days. What? What about me? How can I stay here alone? I can't live without someone else's help. We know. We've thought about it. That's why we hired a nanny to watch you. And she should be here soon enough. Are you serious? I thought it was some kind of joke. Here she comes. Let's go and meet her. You know I'm playing with Mikey. We should, JJ. Go and meet her. Come with us then, Mikey. Let's see who the nanny is. We didn't even get to play a proper game with you. Maybe I'll be alone after all. No, JJ. You're too young. You need someone to watch and clean the house. Let's go meet the lady. She's waiting. Yeah, Mikey. That's a sad story. Let's go see her at least. She's gonna live here all three days? Sure, JJ, but don't worry. It's a good babysitter. I've never had a babysitter at home. That's a surprise to me, too. Hello, come in. Hi, everyone. Who will I be following for the next three days in this beautiful house? To our son, JJ. There he is right in front of you. Wonderful, very cute boy. Stop standing on the doorstep and come inside. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go look around. Interesting babysitter you got here, JJ. So far, I don't know whether to be happy or not. Your duties will be to watch our son and keep the house clean. You don't even have to worry. Everything will be done perfectly. I love spending time with kids. Wonderful. We have high hopes for you. I just don't get it. Is that cute boy in green your son too? No, it's just my friend Mikey coming to visit. He'll go to his house later. Don't worry. You'll only have to keep an eye on our son. Because he likes to break the rules. It's not hard for me to keep track of two if I need to. We are very excited. Hope you can really make it so we don't have to worry. Of course, I will always be able to find common ground with any child. Your son will be no exception. Of course, the babysitter looks very kind. No difficulty 
difficulties will arise. I'll go see what I have in the fridge then and can make some. In the meantime, say goodbye to these little ones. Yes, of course. Thank you so much again. That's it, guys. Hope you guys like the babysitter and no complications. Just behave yourselves so we won't be ashamed later. Can Mikey stay at our sleepover? The nanny said it's no problem. Sure, let him stay, but we gotta run. Bye, guys. See you very soon. Great, JJ. We'll spend the whole night together. Just don't stay there too long. Come home soon. Don't worry, JJ. We'll definitely be home in three days. Most importantly, I really ask you to be respectful of the babysitter and listen to what she tells you. We've got it all figured out. You don't have to worry. Everything will be fine. Great. Then we're off and running. See you later. Okay, I'll miss you. Bye. We'll miss you too. We'll be sure to bring you souvenirs. So don't be bored and expect our return with a surprise. All right, bye. That's it, JJ. Your parents are gone. We have this whole house to ourselves now. It's true, Mikey. We can do anything now. This is great. I'm insanely happy about it. I've wanted to stay with you all night for so long, and now I can stay for three. The important thing is that the babysitter turns out not to be mean and gives us a chance to have fun. I think we can work something out with her if we need to. But she certainly has a very nice figure. I love looking at her. That's true, JJ. I would love to live together with a girl like that and spend time with her every day. That's true, as long as she's also very responsible. What are you guys standing there for? What are you discussing? No, nothing. Just deciding what we're going to do next. She can't know we're discussing her, but she's a joy to watch. She really is very pretty, but it's a little weird at our age to think about it. I don't care, JJ. I'd love to talk to her and take a close closer look at her figure, because she's awesome. Let's get closer to her, JJ. Let's get to know her a little more and take a look at her. No, Mikey, let's go up to my room and play on the computer. You think it's more interesting? Of course, it's a lot of fun and a great variety of games. All right, JJ, I agree. Let's go see what games you got in there. Because I don't have a computer at home, I don't even know what games are out there. Then you'll definitely be surprised by the games I'm going to show you. It's sure to be a lot of fun. Then let's not waste any time. Turn on your computer and let's start playing. It's already on. You can get in first and try out what you like. I'll take a look. Just hit the keyboard and the monitor will work. Wow, how fast everything works. You have a very powerful and cool computer. Of course, Mikey. It was my birthday present. I asked for the coolest computer ever. I'm really glad I stayed with you. I'm in a super great mood. Let's play faster because I want to play too. I'm trying. Three hours later. Well, JJ, we've had a good game. Now we can go to bed. That's right, Mikey. Let's get some rest and then we'll continue the fun tomorrow. It's cool that you have two beds in your room. Yeah, Mikey, that's great. And in general, I really like your place. I feel comfortable here. I'm really happy about this, Mikey. I always loved having you stay with me. Hopefully, it will be as long as possible. I'll do anything for it. Oh, what is that sound? It sounds like the maid came to vacuum my room, but it's awfully loud. We should tell her we're getting ready for bed and it's bothering us. Yeah, you're right. Hey, babysitter, we're actually about to go to bed here and this is disturbing us. Is that right? I thought you guys were still having fun and not even watching the time. We had enough playtime and decided to go to bed as we were very tired. You guys are great. I'm glad you're so smart and responsible. I won't disturb you. Have a rest, guys. Have a good dream and good night. Thank you so much. Good night to you, too. Very nice girl, JJ. I think you're very lucky to stay three days with her. She really is quite kind and understanding. Those are very good qualities. And what a nice figure she has after all. All right, Mikey. Let's wait for her to leave and go to bed. On the contrary, I'd still love to see her. But she's taking too long to leave. Okay, finally, we can go to bed now. Yeah, JJ. Let's get to bed so tomorrow comes early. You're totally right, Mikey. I have so many ideas for tomorrow. You have I have no idea. You go to bed now, JJ. And I have to run to the bathroom because my stomach's acting up. Don't worry. I won't be long. I'll come back and go to bed. But don't wait for me and go to sleep. All right, Mikey. I hear you. As usual, Mikey's timing is off and I'll have to fall asleep alone. Whatever. The important thing is that I get to sleep. And for tomorrow, you'll see how many different ideas I've already come up with. Two hours later. Oh, I wonder if Mikey's back already and sleeping too. What? He never came back, did he? Then where is he and what happened to him? I should go see where he is and what happened to him. If he never went back to sleep, then something is definitely wrong. Well, if he's not in the pantry, then he must be on the first floor. I really hope he is there and nothing happened to him because anything can happen in the night. Gotta run soon and hope he's just back in the bathroom. Or a drink of water, for example. A what? 
Mikey's talking to my babysitter? I love being with you, talking to you. You're so cool. Oh, really? It's kind of a surprise to me that you looked at me as a whole. Of course, Mikey. I couldn't pass up the opportunity to meet you and spend time with you. I'm very pleased to hear that. Look at me. I hope you like me too, don't you? I'm a little embarrassed. This babysitter is just trying to hit on poor Mikey. How can that even be? You are just so little and cute. I just want to hold you in my arms and just admire you. I'm actually not only cute, but smart and cool. Come to me, my little braggart. I know you have a lot of cool qualities. Wow, it turns out you're not only cute, but also very strong. Don't embarrass me, it's just that you're the little one and very cute. I love holding you in my arms and looking at you. And it feels so good to be in your arms and look at your beautiful face. Thank you so much. Uh, Mikey JJ's watching us from the stairs. What? Yeah, I saw what you guys were doing and how the babysitter tried to hit on you. I'll be sure to tell my parents. You've got it all wrong, JJ. We were just hanging out with Mikey. You don't have to tell anyone anything, JJ. I'm here to talk to her. What? You don't have to defend her, Mikey. I heard her myself, and I know what she wanted to do to you. So as soon as my parents get back from their trip, I'll definitely let them know what's been going on here. JJ, listen to us. I'm telling you I'm the one who came to socialize and I wanted to do it myself. She's certainly not guilty of anything and doesn't need to tell anyone what happened here. I understand, Mikey, that you just wanted to go to the bathroom and she started chatting with you. No need to make excuses for her. Please calm down, JJ. These airlines are a pain in the neck. It's true. I hope we fly out tomorrow. Oh, what are you guys doing up? It's so late. Is something wrong? Yeah, Mom, there's something weird going on here. I woke up and there's the babysitter and Mikey together. So what were the two of them doing here together? This is the woman you called out, complimenting Mikey and holding him in her arms. And Mikey tries to still defend her and says he wanted it for himself. But I don't really believe that. I think Mikey just couldn't say no and the babysitter knew it. Okay, JJ, we hear you. Get out of here before I call the police. We don't need your help anymore. But I didn't do anything illegal. Mikey came over on his own and we just spent time together. I don't want to hear anything from you. Get out of here fast and you won't get any payment. That's right, my parents. You did the right thing. No, JJ, why did you do that? I did what I had to do. Okay, guys, don't worry. She'll never come around here again. And if she comes, I'll call the police. You didn't have to do that. JJ just didn't get it right. Don't, Mikey. Stop protecting her. It's over. But she's on the street now. Okay, guys, it's already late. Go to bed soon. We'll talk more tomorrow. But I feel sorry for that babysitter. Don't worry. She deserves it. God, no one understands what I'm saying. Let's go to the room, JJ. Come on, Mikey. Stop thinking about her. I know it's sad, but it had to be done. You just got it wrong and told your parents that way for some reason. Let's talk about it tomorrow. We have to go to bed soon. But I didn't want it to end like this. I won't be able to sleep now. We just need to get into bed and close our eyes. But I need to know where this babysitter is right now. She just went to her house, Mikey. What if someone catches her in the night? Anything can happen in our village. It's a grown girl, Mikey. It's gonna be okay. Look, there she is walking around the house. That's right, Mikey. I see her. I think she's really upset about it and she's standing there crying right now. Why did you do that? Don't you feel sorry for her now? It's bad, of course, but she was hitting on you. Let's go to bed already. I can't leave her alone crying out there, JJ. And that you want to go after her? Sure, JJ. But it's too dark. You can't go anywhere now. On the contrary, I can't stay home when a girl is crying alone in the street. Mikey, let's deal with this situation tomorrow. We don't have to go anywhere now. You don't have to go anywhere, JJ. I'll go in there and try to calm her down. Don't worry about me. I just don't want it to end this way. Mikey, I'm begging you. Let's just go to bed. Lay down, JJ, but I'm a man and I have to go. See you later. God, why is he doing all this? He wasn't lying when he said he came to her. I don't get it yet. Then let's see what the two of them do together. Maybe I can figure out why he went. Here she is, crying alone, and Mikey's coming. Let's hear what they have to say. Hey, wait, please, stop crying. I came to see you. Isn't anybody gonna get mad at you for this, Mikey? I've tried to explain to them that it's not your fault, but no one believes me. You did good, Mikey. Thank you for trying to protect me. I really liked you, so I couldn't stay home knowing you were alone on the street. I really like you, too. Why don't we go to my house for a sleepover? Of course I agree. It's a great pleasure for me. Then let's run and spend some time together. We won't be interrupted. Apparently, Mikey wasn't lying, and they just liked each other, so that's what happened. And now Mikey has gone to visit this babysitter, and I have to sleep alone without my friend. But that's okay. The important thing is that Mikey is happy because we really just kicked a girl out for nothing. I hope I can talk things over with Mikey tomorrow. See you next morning.
I literally just recently finished work and am now heading home to rest. I'm right here. Today was a pretty hard day, so I don't feel like doing anything at all. Now I'm just going to go home and maybe even lay down for some sleep. Whoa, stop. What is that? Why is there trash all over the house? Did Mikey scatter all this stuff or something? That's just disgusting. Now I'm going to tell him and make him clean the whole house because you can't crap that badly where you live. Only pigs do that. It's just awful, there's garbage everywhere. There's Mikey, he's just sitting on the couch watching TV. Hey Mikey, what kind of a mess are you making in the house? You can't just throw garbage wherever you want. I don't care what's around me, JJ, I'm a punk. I throw stuff where I want it. Go clean it up. Punk, you're not the only one living here. I'm not going to clean anything up. It's not my job. I'd rather go play basketball. No, Mikey, I'm not gonna clean the house alone while you're having fun. It's all your trash and you have to clean it up. I don't care about that garbage. Nobody's making you clean it up. I'm gonna go play. Bye. Jesus, what's wrong with him? I work all day and he sits at home and he littered. I just wanted to rest, but now I have to clean. I'm really mad at Mikey. What kind of punk is he? Disgusting. Okay, I have to stop fighting already. I hope someday Mikey realizes he's wrong. But for now, I'm still pretty pissed off at the way he's acting. Very silly if you ask me. Two hours later. Phew, I finally got our whole house cleaned out of the trash. Look how clean and beautiful it is now. And of course I did it all by myself. Now I can finally rest in peace and quiet after a hard day's work. First of all, I have to make something to eat. There's some dough here, so I need to think about what I can make. But I'm so tired after work and would rather eat something cooked. Great, there's donuts on the table. That's what I need. They look delicious. Uh. What was that sound just now? It sounded like glass breaking somewhere in the room. I gotta go see what happened in there. It was probably coming from the street. Oh my god, what's that? JJ, I was playing basketball and the ball accidentally hit the window. What have you done? Not only did you break the window, you broke an expensive monitor. I'm a punk. I don't care what I do wrong. Calm down. I'm just gonna hit him with all my might over this. How can you behave like that? You're not doing anything and you're ruining everything. This is my life, JJ. I'm a punk and I do whatever I want. Then look for a new place to live and do whatever you want there. It's my house too. If you don't like something, leave. You're awful. Police, we need your help now. There's a family feud going on. There's a fight in the house. How many people are involved in the fight? Two people. They must have had a very big fight. If you don't come soon, they'll kill each other. You're being disgusting. You're not a punk. You're just stupid. Oh. That's it. Stay down and don't move. You deserve it, punk. Oh my god, what are you doing here? He's unconscious. I need to get him pumped out. Really? I've gone overboard with anger and rage. I shouldn't have hit him like that, but he was littering and broke the window along with the monitor. Where was it? Right in this room. That's what it looks like in there. Before that, the place was all trash, but I totally cleaned it up for him. You shouldn't have beaten him up for it anyway. He could die. So you will suffer your punishment in prison. But it's his own fault for acting like this. But I didn't think he'd get this bad. He is unconscious, but his life is not in danger. He will not die. You see, I didn't kill him. It was just two brothers fighting. Get to the car, now. Because of that punk, I'm going to jail. God, why do I deserve to be punished like this? How long am I going to be in jail for? I can't tell you. Get in the car. We'll deal with it at the station. I really didn't mean for this to happen, but he was being stupid. That doesn't change the fact that you almost killed him. You go to jail for that anyway. I'm shocked. I still don't get it. Mikey hit me too. Why am I the only one in jail? Because you caused severe damage to his health. And you, as I see it, are perfectly healthy. Oh, great. A man littered and broke a monitor window and it was my fault. Jeez. All right, that's enough arguing. You're not going to get out of jail anyway. And where would I be? Here it is yourself. But first, you must turn in your clothes and change into another. Yeah, it's a treat for sure. I hope you'll reconsider. I highly doubt it. I saw you beat him with my own eyes. I told you he hit me too, but you don't care. We'll get to the bottom of this. Maybe he'll be punished too. I really hope so. Get in that room. There'll be stuff in there. Change your clothes and come out. Okay, I got it. But why can't I stay in my clothes? I'm comfortable in them. Because you're a prisoner. Less talking and more doing. All right, I'll do it. And now I have to change into one of these clothes? I probably shouldn't have hit Mikey so hard, but he really pissed me off. But I really hope he ends up next to me in the cell. In the meantime, I'll change into the right clothes. 
later. That's it. I found more or less comfortable clothes. I look like a regular prisoner now, but I'm very uncomfortable in this. But I unfortunately don't have a choice. That's it. I've changed into all the right clothes. All right, now let's go to the camera. I'll take you in and lock you up. Okay, the only thing I'm gonna ask you to do is go in the house and see what Mikey's up to. Because I'm afraid he's already trashed the whole house while I was gone. Come on in, we'll take care of this ourselves. Close it already, I'm in. Now this is your home for the next few years. Sit here and get used to it. A few years? Really? But he survived. He's the reason I have to be supervised here every day. Will I at least have time to go for a walk? Or am I just gonna sit here all the time? Make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. If anything happens, call me immediately. Of course I know my job. It'll be fine. That's great. I'm gonna go get some lunch. Go, of course. Your help is no longer needed here. You just sit there quietly and don't even try to escape. If you do, I'll catch you and you'll stay here even longer. I hope I've made myself clear to you. It's all clear to me. I knew it all without you. Good for you. Enjoy the cage. God, all I want out of life is for Mikey to end up here and real what it's like to be in prison. In the meantime, this punk's out there having fun after what he's done. He's in a big house and I'm in a small cage with only a toilet bed and table. At least they put toilet paper in here. Thanks for that. And the toilet is more or less clean. The next day. It's so wonderful to live alone. I do what I want and no one can stop me. I scatter trash and break anything I want. What a thrill. Hey, victim, what are you doing here? What kind of mess? I'm a punk and I do what I want in my house. You can't just break things. It's not just your house, actually. Yesterday you were unconscious and today you're on the rampage. This is my home now and I do whatever I want to do here. Why are you talking to me like that? I'm gonna put you in jail for the fight last night and for wrecking the house. No, I'm sorry. I don't want to go to jail. Come here quick. A few moments later. It's only been a day and I already have nothing to do. It's really boring here. Hey, inmate, you got a new addition. Now you won't be so bored. Are you serious right now? JJ, hi. I'm here now, too. Karma finally worked. Now you'll be living in a cage, too. Don't be mad at me, JJ. I realize it was my fault. Get in the cell already. Now you'll be socializing for a long time here. Okay, Mikey admitted his guilt, and now all is fair game. Besides, the two of us won't be so bored around here. I'll make a little slit so you can see each other. So you can have something to discuss and not be so bored. Hey, JJ, we're around now. Thank you so much for this. It's really boring here. I just need to know how long do we have to stay here. If you behave yourself, it's only two years. So it's all up to you. God. God, we're gonna lose two years because of something so stupid. But it's just the two of us and we can work something out. That's right! Day two. Hmm, no one seems to be around right now. Apparently, everyone's gone about their business, which means it's time for action. Hey, Mikey, there's nobody around here. I think we can start executing our plan. The time has finally come. It's now or never, JJ. Mikey and I built a trap door while no one was watching. Now it's time to jump in there and get out of here. I agree, JJ. I'm ready. We just have to get out of there fast. Then hurry up and jump before anyone comes and sees us. I already did, JJ. Who? Great. We got the first part of the plan done. We're in some kind of garage, JJ. I see it, Mikey. But what do we do now to get out? Now we must carefully make our way to the closet and change. That's right. No one will think we're criminals if we change our clothes. Just make sure no one sees you. It's like there's absolutely no one around. Oh no, there's one guard nearby. Run into this room, but be careful. Phew, I'm here. Now it's your turn. I'm here too, JJ. This is a very cute room with kitties. It's cool that the police station has one of these. Look how kind and fluffy they are. Yes, Mikey, that's true, but we need to go ahead with the plan and sneak into the closet. But the kitties are so cute, I can't tear myself away. Let's go before the guard turns away. Quick, JJ, he's not looking. That's it, I'm on the stairs. He didn't see us. That's great. Now hurry up and run to our clothes. All right, Mikey, we're here. The hardest part of the plan is done. Now rather change clothes and come out innocent. It's a good thing no one saw us. Yay! We're good! 12 seconds later. All right, JJ, we're in our clothes now. God, I'm so comfortable in my stuff, and they look so much better. Well, let's go home now. No one will say a word to us. Sure, Mikey, let's go. Besides, there's absolutely no one here. See how well that turned out. Now let's go home before anyone sees there's nobody in the cell. Just, JJ, look what I got. We can go to the cafeteria and get ourselves something. All right, Mikey, but let's make this quick. Don't worry about it. Pretend you're just a regular guest here. Nobody's even paying attention to us. That's so funny. There's the cafeteria, JJ. Let's go get something to drink. Can we have two Cokes, please? Sure, guys, anything for your money. Take your cool drinks. Thank you so much. You are a very kind girl. That's better, JJ. Now we can go home safely. I'm so glad life is such a beautiful thing. No matter what difficulties we have, if we don't despair, we can get out of any situation 
situation and be happy people. All right, JJ. Enough of these educational words. Let's go home. Come on, Mikey. But only if you throw garbage again, I'll send you back to your jail cell. Okay, JJ, I hear you. It won't happen again. I really hope so. Thank you.